What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Stephen M. Kiefer. I want to thank you for stopping by. Today, we're going to get into some of these conspiracy TikToks. I've been digging into conspiracies probably for the better part of 20 years, and there is a whole lot of shit going on over there on TikTok. So I figure I'll start watching them with you guys until, I don't know, I get bored or TikTok gets banned, one of the two. So here goes part one. Let's dig into this. All the wildfires start at the exact same time. There's no thunder, no lightning. There'd have to be 25, 50 different arsonists at the same time, or something else happens. That's so scary. It's a clear sky. All at once. All at once. Look at this. And all those little Today, dots are the wildfire separate start. wildfires. New Jersey and... That shit's kind of crazy. First off, I'd like to know where he got that that video or that image because, I mean, that could be bullshit. But what I do know is I'm in central Pennsylvania now, and it was smoked out one week, then nothing, and then smoked out a week after that. So did the fires just go away in Canada? And then all of a sudden they came back? I didn't see any pictures of any fires up there or anything. You'd think half of Canada would be burnt down at this point. For, for that to, to be that smoky down here. You couldn't even see the mountains around in Pennsylvania. It was that bad. But it was white. And over in New York City, which is six hours in the other direction, it was orange. So I don't know what the fuck that was about. Yeah, it was definitely, definitely something real shady about those fires, man. I don't know what. I barely want to look into it because I'm fucking scared to look at this point. All right. What in the world is this? A laser weapon was shot from the sky and it has the whole world panicking. Is it aliens or just some advanced technology we don't know anything about? Looks like a Transformers movie. <laughs> okay, so this only happened a couple weeks ago on May 26th in Chile. A man was in his apartment when he heard five large explosions and his power went out. That's when he started recording and captured this video. And it's literally a laser beam shot from the sky. There was only a couple things this could be, one of them being government testing, Bullshit. another being an advanced piece of technology the public has no idea about, or the third being aliens. I honestly have no idea and I'm completely mind blown. Let me know your opinions on this because I'm extremely curious. Well, I would definitely say those aren't the only two choices of what it could be, or three choices. It could be bullshit. It's so hard to trust anything like that now because CGI, I mean, you could fake anything. So CGI, beyond CGI. And I mean, you could do that on your phone. So I mean, I don't know, you think you would have heard about something like that going down, but who the fuck knows? Tell me what you fellas think, you folks think, in the comments. They're not prosthetics. They're my bones. They come out when I'm inspired. They've always been inside of me, but I have she been waiting for the her. right time to reveal to the universe who I truly am, Lady Gaga. My placenta. My mum found in my basement, crushed up, and made into a necklace that I wear every day to improve my psychic abilities, Kasha. Cool. I used to have a folder called Demons that had pictures with all the screen caps in it. But then weird things started happening to me so I deleted it. Ariana Grande. Oriana Grand, huh? All right. I love the smell of diapers. I even like when they're wet, and you smell them all warm like a baked good, Sarah Jessica Parker. They're not prosthetic. Well, I believe Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> she looks like she just want to sniff wet diapers <laughs> for some reason. That Lady Gaga thing's clearly bullshit. I mean, she probably is a demon of some sort, but she's not... Oh, you have to verify those things. 
pretty dumb if you ask me, really. That percent of things wild, I suppose. Moving on. It honestly blows my mind how nobody is talking about this. Russia made a terrifying underwater discovery that changes everything. Hold up. Are those... Uh, is that a purple grill? Or does he have a grill and drinks a lot of cough syrup? That is, uh... That's gonna be the craziest part of this video if I had to guess, but okay. Russia made a terrifying underwater discovery that changes everything. The discovery and thinking about the probability of it being an actual crashed UFO or not until the Ocean X team gave the information that confirmed the crashed UFO. Stefan Hogeborn, a professional diver with Ocean X, confirmed it when he said that the crashed UFO still works. He said anything electric out there, including satellite phones as well, stopped working when we were above the object. Bro, I watched the video about this and they're literally claiming that they discovered a crash UFO underwater. UFO, also known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, is its striking resemblance to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Bro, what do you guys think about this? And whether this is real or not, you have to admit that the ocean holds plenty of mysteries that are yet to be discovered. But hey, make sure to share this video and follow me if you like this type of content. And I'll see you guys later. Let's get I mean, that grill's crazy for one. I mean, I'd imagine if you're in Russia and you put some shit out there like that, you're going to end up dead pretty quick or any country probably. So I don't know. Tough to say. Might be some of that Russian propaganda. You know how that, you know how that goes. I mean, people probably have shit like that. So I don't know. Simpsons predict everything. Not everything, but quite a bit, huh? Hey, Mr. S. I didn't know you budgies. I want to live. No, no, you're too heavy. It's a glandular problem. That is crazy. First off, you made a whole video saying the Simpsons predicted everything, and in the Simpsons clip, I don't even know what they were predicted. <laughs> the American Dad clip that they slid in there. Yeah, I do think they control the weather, especially now. I think they got good at it. They're still fucking some shit up, I think, but they control the weather, control the food, control the uh, control the money, control the the information. Pretty much control a population at that point. Pretty sure they got it all locked the fuck down now. Pretty fun. The first question that they'll ask is, what do you do? And so I say, I live. And they say, no, I mean, do you work or what? And I said, no, I just live. And I said, well, you must do something because their whole orientation is towards job, occupation. This is their whole life. Money. Money. One of the reasons I started this in the first place was because my parents were both very neurotic. And I realized this because I went to a psychiatrist for nine years. And uh, at the later stages of analysis, I realized just how neurotic and, and ill and in, in a world of illusion my parents were. And I decided that I was going to be the one in my, gen in my family to stop it. It was going to stop with my generation that I refused to pass this on to my children. We're doing the hardest work in the world because we're growing. We're trying to change. And that's a lot harder than staying in the same rut and going along year after year doing the same thing. I bet you, you know, that lady would take that back now. Awakening. People are not woke. Blah, blah, blah. They were woke. 
they were very much woke in the 70s. I mean, the hippie movement was just amazing. Um, it, they, they drove the Vietnam War to, to, to an end. And, you know, they had so much power, so much influence to the point that the government feared them. And their figurehead, which was at some point John oh, Lennon, Lennon, was... We know what happened there. And I'm not going to delve into that. However, I just want to make note that... <laughs> I mean, they had a whole propaganda campaign against the hippie movement. They called them tree-hugging druggies. They made um, media outreach programs de depicting them as like drug addicts and um you know violent people uneducated people you know it got to a point where people started deeming the hippie movement as dangerous um criminalistic drug addicted uh, satanists <laughs> and you know they they pinned that onto the the freestyling free thinking hippies and little by little they started disintegrating that movement so when people say oh we're finally woke well in the 70s they were pretty woke too but you know obviously there's agendas at play and things occurring that makes these people deconstruct these platforms and these humans so i hope it does end with us you know the cycle and that we actually stay strong and woke and we don't let stupid agendas get in the way of our free thinking <laughs> well kid i got news for you not gonna happen i don't know what she means by woke she's gonna have to be more specific uh because it's the woke that's pretty mainstream right now they certainly weren't that type of woke um they were on drugs. I mean, there was a lot of drugs involved. I'm sure not every single person ever. I'm sure if you're a hippie, you were on some drugs. Um, yeah, they tried, though. They definitely probably... Yeah, maybe the first generation that really tried to uh, break the system, really caught on to some shit. Like, oh, wait a minute. That's probably right around when uh, the man, big brother, Uncle Sam, whatever you want to call it, really... Uh, started bringing a hammer down on people and uh it's probably around the time things started changing as far as the government control and all kinds of shit like that that's a whole nother topic within itself but uh i don't know if i know what the point of that video was to be honest with you <laughs> rapid fire list of weird scary stuff i've seen on tiktok the past couple days oh that's cute Part 15 of the rapid fire list of weird and scary shit that I've seen on TikTok. Cannot believe that this is the 15th part. And as always, do your own research. Just because I say it's true doesn't mean it is. Anyway, so a strange metal ball found on a beach in Japan. Um, Starbucks glass bottle recall uh, frappuccinos apparently contain glass. Uh, there's been bodies found in the Chicago River and Lake Michigan. There was another train derailment in Nebraska. There's been explosions in Slovenia. The massive industrial building explosion in Miami area, Florida. Um, Mormon church found hiding $32 billion. There's Boy, a uranium bye. fire reported at the Y-12 National Security Complex in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Uranium exposure can cause death. So, yeah, looking like another Ohio, I guess. Hundreds of dead fish piled up on rocks at Huron Dam in South Dakota. And a plane also went down on the way to Ohio to respond to the explosion and five environmental workers died. And there's also crows attacking people in flocks. I believe it. I believe every one of them. <laughs> Except for uh, bodies in, in, a, in a river in Chicago. No way. Not Chicago. Too nice of a place. Never would happen there. Other than that, I believe it all. Yeesh. Oh, this happened in my hometown. And this, uh, this TikTok blew up, actually. I don't know the person or anything, but... Sound of Freedom Theater was evacuated 30 minutes into the movie. And this has been happening all over the country. I mean, I've watched uh, a lot of videos on it. It's crazy. It happened uh, right in my backyard. This is what happened when you were Sound of and our theater, movie right there. And ours. Someone commented somewhere. And no clue what they were. 
or something said, this is an old video, this is a lie. It just fucking happened. We got camera crews. I know crews. what happened. It was like on the news. Um, Here. We're parked in. Locally. Hey, we did at least have a good parking space. We really have a Stay tuned. Yeah, so that's crazy that that's happening everywhere. I mean, this it's such a weird thing that they're, uh, the media and everybody seems to all of a sudden hate the idea of a movie inspired by a true story about a very serious subject. Like, that's a bad thing. You're a QAnon conspiracy theorist if, if you want to see a movie or you think that's an issue in, in the country. I, I don't know, man. But that's, that's the last of them right there for now. I'll uh, start loading up part two, see what I can uh, wrestle up here. I'll never say wrestle up again. Punch me in the face if you ever see me for that one. Um, thanks for checking it out. Leave a comment, please. Leave a like. Sub to the channel if you don't mind. Um, and that's about it. That, that's about that. Everybody have a great day.